So today we're reviewing a game called Day and Night made by Smart Games and it's for preschool age three and up and uh, my four-year-old son is going to try to put these pieces together. So basically how it works is you have a stand and you have various pieces and in the book it kind of gives a gives a picture and they progressively get harder and the child has to construct the different models and then all the way eventually it'll only show the nighttime version or just the shadows and the child has to figure out how to put them on their puzzle. So we'll start with the first one and let Kai go through and we'll do a couple to see how he does with them. You can go ahead and start on the first one. Is it the same? Yes. Look at the picture and double check your work. I see one thing that looks upside down. The head. Yeah, good job. Okay, there you go. It goes down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You figure it out. Mm, I think this one goes like this one. Okay. And this one goes on like this one. Okay, let's check check this column right here. Mm. Check that one. Look at the picture again. <laughs> Does that look the same? Mm. Okay, hold on. Look at the shapes. Okay, and then look at the shape. So I do notice on this game the size of the pegs are different and in this instance he did make a mistake and he switched these two pegs over here and over here. Um, it's his first time working on it and I'm not that nitpicky on it but in the future as we work more and more on this game then I will make sure to correct that as well but I wanted to make sure that he understood the pieces first and then we can get to those different peg sizes later. So today we're going to be reviewing the Camelot Junior game, another Smart Games game. And this one is for preschool ages four and up, or one or more players can play with this one. So the game comes with pieces and a little booklet. And in the booklet, it tells you the different challenges. So it'll start with challenge one and easy. And this is the initial setup that the child will need to do. These are the additional pieces that the child can use in order to have the princess and the knight meet up. So in some, the knight has to get up to the princess and the others, the princess has, has to go down to the knight. So this is the initial setup. And then on the reverse side will be the answer. 
So in this case, the child will have to figure out that they need to put the pieces like this so that the knight can get up into um, the castle to get the princess. Now, the knight or the princess cannot jump any pieces. So this, for instance, the princess wouldn't be able to jump up here and just come up here. So the child would have to figure out how to put these two pieces on here so the princess could get to the next one. So we will start with uh, my five-year-old is going to try to do some of these constructions and he's going to start with, uh, let's do challenge three. So this is the initial setup that you'll need to do. My son has done this game just a few times because he liked it so much. I uh, will skip, let's say, let's go to challenge 12. What do you think? Easy? Hard? Mm, That's still on the starter set. Let, let's do master. It's really, really hard. Okay. Master is right down here. The, the last. Mm -hmm. It's extra super hard. It's super hard? Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Master. Right. How about we do challenge 42? Okay. So set okay. the pieces up how they need to be. What does the bat mean? You can't put any pieces there. Okay, a bat means that you cannot put any pieces on the back. On that side. Okay. Let's check the answer on that one. Check the back side. And yes, same thing. So what did you think about the game? It was a very good game. It made you think about where to put pieces. It makes you think about where to put pieces? Mm -hmm. So what was your most favorite part of the game? My most favorite part of the game was putting it all together. Okay. Do you have any least favorite parts of the game? My least favorite parts of the game were... <laughs> Actually, I don't have any least favorite parts of the game. Okay. Good. So would you recommend someone else buy the game for their child? This game, the one that we have? Yes. Buy it from us? No, from a store. Yes. Yeah, you think that another child would like it too? Mm -hmm. Good. You say bye. Bye.